Welcome, welcome to this new video. This time we're going to be talking about Air Marshal, which is a wireless intrusion detection, intrusion prevention system uh, available in Cisco Meraki. It is a security feature. Uh, you don't need any extra licenses to make it work. You only need Meraki equipment. And depending on the type of equipment, in this case, access points that you have deployed, um, the implementation of AR Marshall is going to be different from one to the other. Um, but uh, first, let's talk about the basics. Uh, what is AR Marshall? Again, it is an intrusion, wireless intrusion prevention system that's going to monitor the wireless uh, uh, frequencies in your network to detect any anomalies. And once they are detected, it's going to classify them and you're going to be able to take actions upon that once the system have detected them and classified them. As you can see, the classification is going to be into rogue SSIDs, other SSIDs, spoofed, malicious broadcasts, and packet floods. And um, as you can imagine, these are self-explanatory. Uh, rogue SSIDs or SSIDs that are uh, connected to your network, perhaps someone uh, connected a, an unauthorized access points to your LAN and that device, that access points or wireless router is broadcasting an SSID uh, coming out of your network that is not authorized by you that's going to be uh, classified as rogue SSID. Other SSIDs is exactly what it means, is what the access points see around. Um, you know, there's not much you can do about it because it's just the uh, wireless signal uh, tra traveling from other locations and coming over to your area or being detected by your access points. And then we have spoof, um, uh, detections, and that is when a, uh, a an SSID has been spoofed, right? Like either uh, another access point or an attacker is impersonating the SSID name, or they're also impersonating the SSID and the BSSID, which is impersonating the MAC address of the uh, wireless network. And that, that would be detected here. And then we have uh, malicious broadcast and packet floods, and these are different type of attacks that um, hackers or malicious, uh, malicious users uh, use or attempt to use when trying to disassociate clients from um, wireless networks to perform a man in the middle or to capture uh, the traffic uh, for further analysis. So um, that, that is the basics of AR Marshall and uh, something that I want to cover and this is going to be a multi-video uh, section because it's going to be too much only for one video but um, when you have Meraki gear and you have Meraki access points uh, depending on the type of access points that you have like most uh, business great access points like starting from the MR 33, 36, 47, 56, so on and so forth, they do offer a dedicated uh, radio, right? Like those are dual bands are 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and they also have a dedicated radio for scanning. And as you can see here, uh, scanning APs, I have six scanning APs because they all have that third radio dedicated for scanning, which means that these access points and the access points that have that third dedicated radio, they're going to be able to provide Wi-Fi services on, on, the, on the bands that they are configured, either the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz band, Plus, at the same time, they're going to be able to monitor the network for web services, right? Uh, without stopping servicing the wireless clients, which is something that you want to do. Uh, if you have um, 
the uh, other access points, for instance, the MR20s, which is the entry level access points, they are dual band radios to 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but they do not have a dedicated um, radio for scanning purposes to be utilized by air marshals. So what you can do in that case, um, if you have, if that's your deployment, you could set up a schedule where you are going to have the access point do scanning at specific times of the day. But keep in mind that when the access point is doing the scanning for air marshal, it is not going to be able to respond to Wi-Fi requests from Wi-Fi clients. So that's one of those things that you have to keep in mind. And again, um, if you have a small shop, you know, like chances are like you, you may want to add another MR20 or go into a different route or solution. Uh, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, if, if you have MR20s or an access point that does not provide a dedicated radio uh, for air marshal, uh, you may want to maybe dedicate one access point for scanning purposes, right? Then you can place it strategically somewhere in your deployment. But, you know, when you do that, that access point is not going to provide uh, Wi-Fi services to, to any client. And uh, something that you would have to do, you would have to enable that on the access point itself. Uh, if in this case, this is this is an MR20. And if I go to um, wireless access points, and then I would open up my um, the access points properties, you're gonna see somewhere in here, oh, right here, AR Marshall. As you can see, this is enabled right now because again, this is for testing purposes. Um, but this is where you would enable or disable um, air marshal for this device. And again, remember that when you have it enabled and the system is performing the scanning at that specific time, it's not going to be able to provide any Wi-Fi services to any clients. That's why uh, we recommend that you implement a uh, Wi-Fi solutions with access points that have that dedicated radio that you could use for that purpose, right? Um, you know, when it comes down to dollar amounts, it's not much of a difference between the MR20 and the MR33 or 36. Uh, but again, if we're talking about maybe you know, like hundreds of access points that might make a difference in the budget. But, well, you could, you know, present this to management and I'm sure they'll go with a much better solution uh, uh, once they see uh, the, the reason for that. So um, I'm going to stop that this video right here. Uh, in the future videos, we're going to be talking about the different configurations and how to that are going to help you uh, improve the performance and security of your Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can find it right here on the channel. Have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.